seen this problem this is very very important problem this is a three phase transformer the rated values of the transformer are 11.43 kilo volt by 400 volt the hv side is connected in star and the lv side is connected in delta you know that while defining the rating of the three phase transformer the values the ba the uh, voltages are given the voltages are line to line voltages and the second rating is 225 kilovolt ampere the reactance referred to hv side is 69.696 ohm the per phase reactance of the transformer referred to hv side is 69.696 ohm the first question is you have to find out the reactance of the transformer three phase transformer referred to lv side then you have to find out, out the reactance in per unit referred to HV side and again you have to find out the reactance of the per unit reactance in, in per unit referred to LV side of the transformer. So the first question is uh, the reactance of the transformer referred to LV side. This is the question. these are all uh, given data so how to find out the reactance referred to LV side see uh, we have to do the transformation of the reactance which is given in the HV side we have to transform this HV side reactance to the LV side so we need a transformation ratio the transformation ratio is always greater than one and the transformation ratio is related to phase voltage the phase voltage of the HV side divided by the phase voltage of the LV side see this transformer is uh, on the LV side is connected in a star so phase voltage will be 11.43 by root 3 and the phase voltage of the LV side will be 400 volt because the transformer is connected in delta so easily we can find out the transformation ratio the phase voltage of the HV side is 11.43 by root 3 6.6 kV and phase voltage of the LV side is 400 volt the transformation ratio is 6.6 .6 kilo because of the kilo I am writing 1000 divided by 400 so it will be 16.5 while transferring the reactance from one side to other side this transformation ratio is very important remember the LV side reactance of the transformer the reactance referred to the LV side of the transformer is always lesser in value with respect to the reactance referred to the HV side of the transformer so this reactance uh, LV side reactance the reactance referred to the LV side is always very uh, ill uh, will always have a low value so uh, if you know the HV side reactance then divide by the square of the transformation ratio you will get the reactance of the transformer referred to LV side that will be 0.256 ohm so the first uh, question is solved now you have to solve the second question this uh, reactance the per unit reactance of the transformer referred to HV side how to find out this value you know see here the second question the solution of the second question is this the reactance of the transformer is uh, the reactance of the transformer the per unit the per unit reactance of the transformer is the actual value of the reactance divided by the base value of the impedance actual value divided by the base value in the case of the resistance and while finding the value of the per unit resistance or the per unit reactance the base value will be the base value of the impedance so the per unit value of the reactance equals to actual value of the reactance divided by the base value of the impedance see the actual value see he is saying uh, in the question number two he is asking to find out the per unit reactance taking all the values of the HV side so x actual you have to take uh, on HV side HV side 
actual reactance you have to take and the base value you have to take uh, you have to calculate by taking the value of the hv side the base value are, are the rated values see uh, the base value of the impedance equals to base voltage square divided by the uh, divided by the base power the base voltage is square divided by the base power see this uh, hv side is connected in a star because this hv side is connected in a star so we can use this formula so base voltage is square what is the base voltage on the hv side see here this base voltage i am using the direct formula this base voltage is line to line voltage and this base power is three phase power so uh, because this is a star side so you can directly take the values 11.43 square divided by 225 which is the rating so it will be 580.06 ohm so the actual value is 69.696 divided by 580.06 it will be 0.12 per unit now the third question is uh, you have to calculate the value of the per unit reactance referred to LV side you have to take all the values of the LV side see uh, you have to calculate the per unit reactance referred to LV side so you have to take the value of the actual reactance of the transformer referred to LV side divided by the base value of the impedance uh, on LV side so the actual value of the reactance is the actual value of the reactance on LV side is 0.256 see this is 2.6 0.256 0.256 so the actual value of the reactance on the LV side is 0.256 divided by the base impedance on LV side. So base impedance on the LV side because the LV side is connected in delta because the LV side is connected in delta. So we cannot use this formula. We cannot use this formula. Right? Three uh, base voltage square divided by the base power. Here the base voltage is line to line voltage and the base power is the three phase power. So uh, the base voltages are the base voltages are the uh, rated values so the base is always the rated value so so on the lv side what is the uh, rating rated voltage that is the four that is 400 volt so write 400 volt square divided by the rating of the transformer the the power rating of the transformer is 225 kva so you can solve it 2.133 ohm so the per unit reactance referred to LV side equals to 0 0.256 divided by 2.133 actual value divided by the base value you will get 0 0.12 per unit you know this is very very important the per unit reactance uh, referred to uh, HV side or referred to LV side is same in the case of the transformer in the case of the three phase transformer the per unit reactance referred to HV side or the per unit reactance referred to LV side is same this is very very important thing and the second important thing is the transformation ratio while calculating the value of the transformation ratio you must take the phase voltages of the primary side and the secondary side the third important thing is this this uh, transformation ratio value is always greater than 1 this transformation ratio value is always greater than 1 and while calculating the value of the transformation ratio you have to take uh, the phase voltages so this is very important question uh, you must understand this uh, this uh, this question is uh, many times asked in the examination uh,